pastors for giving me this privilege to minister and share the word tonight. It's a great honor, and I don't take it lightly. If I were to put a title on this, I would call it Because of His Love. Because of His Love, our sins are forgiven because of the blood of the Lamb. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believed in him should not perish, or will not perish, but will have everlasting life, eternal life, a new kingdom, a new way of living, a new love, because it's unconditional. There's no ties to it. It's limitless, as Pastor Paul said earlier. Limitless. And we can, we can take in of his love whenever we want to. And he loves us to do that. I'm kind of not really with what I've got in front here, but I'm just going to go with it. Um, I started looking at love, really looking at it the, this year, because I just really started to grasp just a teeny bit of it for me, how much he loves me. And when that happened, I decided that I needed to know more about this love and what it made available to me. Because I certainly at that time wasn't really fully partaking of what is available to me because of his love. And I'm still, you know, learning. So I'm in this process that I'm sharing tonight. Fully in. So nothing can separate us from his love. So knowing that... It opens the path. Romans 8, 38 and 39. <laughs> For I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Jesus made the way for us to receive God's love by laying down his life, willingly going to the cross, dying, and rising again. We can have that. And because of him, we do. And in that process, once he rose again, we were in covenant with God. Covenant. A very committed, it's very committed. God's covenant's very, he's very committed. He will never leave us nor forsake us. Joshua 1.5 tells us that. He holds us in the palm of his hands. When I think about that, it blows my mind, so to speak, because how big is God that he can do that? He holds us in the palms of his hands. It's a perfect love. Perfect. Everything we need. Every promise that is available to us is in his love. It's perfect. You can't add anything to it, and you can't take anything away from it. It's perfect. It's his love. Unconditional. It doesn't matter if I miss it today. 
It doesn't matter if I miss it for a week. I don't want to, but <laughs> the point is, all I need to do is to go in. Lord, I'm sorry. Forgive me. And I'm right again. So it's very easy, easy to remain right with God. All it does is take that one step. One step in. And he has you. And he never leaves us. He is always right there. But as we go about our daily living, and I'm pretty much pertaining to me in regards to when I say things tonight. As I go about my daily living, I have found that if I'm struggling with something, anybody have struggles? Anybody have challenges daily in their life that seem as though they're going to overtake you? Well, no, they don't because we're an overcomer in Christ. We overcome because he already won the victory. So we walk victoriously. Every need we have has already been met in that victory. So we can walk daily in victory. And when we pray, we can pray the word and thank him for what he's already done. Thank him. I don't need, I can share the situation with him. I don't have to share it over and over and over again. He already knows. But I'm acknowledging that fact to him. And then it's the word. Find the word that applies to that situation and speak only that word. Do not allow, and this is a challenge, do not allow the emotions to take over because they'll try. They will try. And they hold us in a place of bondage. We just get stuck. And we're kind of, hmm, well, what can I do about this? Turn to him. Take that one step. Fellowship's restored, and away you go. <laughs> because it's a, it's a kingdom that he desires us to walk in here on earth in all things, free to... We are in this world, but we're not of it. We don't have to lower our mentality to the way that the world does things. There's a higher way, and it's in Christ Jesus. He's the one. He'll always be the one. His blood is enough. No more, no less. It's enough for every situation that we have. And the mind is the part of us that needs restoring daily in our lives. Whether you're listening to the word, put it on, listen to it all night. It's feeding your spirit. It's good for you. I had uh, God shows me things when I'm worshiping him. And sometimes it's how to battle in prayer. And sometimes it's regarding him, or maybe it's something that I need to push through in. But he showed me a table. This last week he showed me a table, and I said, wow, Lord, that's beautiful. He said, yes. He said, look at the center. I couldn't describe the centerpiece, and do you know why? Because it was love. It's impossible to describe that. And there were, of course, place settings all around the table. It was a beautiful table. Beautiful. God doesn't do anything halfway. Never. And there were place, placings all around the table. And I said, well, what are all those places? I said, I know we can come and sit at this table and partake. What's all this 
He said, that's what's available to you. Really, I said? He said, yes, daughter. It's all available to you. So, of course, there's healing already done. Deliverance already done. Faith. There is even a placement for faith to increase it. And how do we increase our faith? We're in the Word. And as we're in the Word, it grows. And we find ourselves being able to believe more what His Word says as we do that. Hmm. Because of His love. We have a full, full, full measure of that love available to us. It's up to us, because he's already done everything for us. It's our choice. And I love it when I just sit and breathe in, breathe in his love, breathe in his love, breathe in his love, and then you find yourself, you don't care about a thing. <laughs> it's, a, it's a nice place to be. Very nice. And the God's love it always gives. He gave his best. He gave his son. Never takes. Never takes. The Spirit of God never will never God will never take anything from you. And I and I've heard different ones say, and I may have even said it. Lord, take this away from me. No. Lord, I give this to you. I give this to you, Lord, because God will never take. He's a giver. And we can never outgive him <laughs> because of his love. Truth, peace, prosperity, they're all part of this table, part of his love for us. It's available to us. The promises of God are yes and amen to those who don't believe. No. To those who believe. Believe all that he's done. <sighs> I don't know if I can get to the next page. Anyway, <laughs> I was kind of hoping I could. Oh, there we go. I just need to kind of. It's unending love. It's eternal love. It was an eternal transaction when Jesus died on the cross. God's love is eternal constant. His love will never change. It doesn't matter where, you, where your mind says you're at, because my mind sometimes, sometimes will try to tell me where I'm at, and then I have to tell my mind where I am. I cannot allow that to overtake me, because it takes you down a road that really, you really don't want to go down those roads. No, you don't. Trust me, you don't want to go down those roads. His love is compassionate. And that's what we as a body need to show to new ones coming in. Show them compassion and love and understanding. They're where we were when we first came to him. So they don't know a whole bunch. They're babies. So we're not to judge them. We're to love them right where they're at. And let the Holy Spirit clean them up. He knows exactly what he's doing, and he knows when it's going to take place. And in that, they'll get the most, because it's God's timing. It's when God wants it done. It's not that he doesn't want it done, but he knows the individual completely. He knows exactly where they were and where they are at this very moment. 
And in that understanding and love, compassion, he knows exactly what he's doing. We're to love them and to accept them exactly where they're at. That's what we're called to do, to love them. No more, no less. Just love them. His love surpasses knowledge. God tells me that the wisdom is, of men is foolishness unto him. So I think I'd like to ask for God's wisdom in every situation that I find myself in. Sometimes I'm a little slow at doing that. Sometimes I'll try to figure it out. Not a good thing to do. It's better to ask him for his wisdom right away. And that keeps us in that place with him. And we remain in peace because of that. Mm. His love is unfailing. It's inexhaustible. There's never a low supply of God's love. This, well, this, morning, this morning, daughter, I'm only going to give you this much. My supply is real low. No, 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 no. He has enough and more than enough for each and every one of us. Okay, Lord. Um, there's abundance in his love. One of the things that I really look to daily is that peace that passes all understanding because it mounts guard over my heart and my mind in Christ Jesus. That peace, it's a guide for me. If I end up, I like to stay in my peace. So if I start going away and I don't have peace, I need to turn back because that's a guide for me. And, uh, there's such, and his peace, is, it just envelops you. And it uh, just such a, a calm in his peace. <laughs> yes, Lord. His love is steadfast, it's consistent, it's persistent. He, he doesn't change. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He says he's the way and the truth. Well, he is the way, the truth, and the life that he is. Without him, there is no life. I can remember when uh, John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, unconditionally loved the world. And, and when I first uh, started looking at that scripture, I said, uh, I've seen love definitely. I couldn't even grasp God's unconditional love at that time. It was so, if someone loves me, <laughs> you've got to be kidding. But he did. He did love me. And he continued to love me through it all. But I used to say, well, love, doesn't that love depend on what I do right and what I do wrong? That was my mindset. And, of course, if I did something wrong, I would try, and I'd try, and I'd try. But it wouldn't get me anywhere because God wasn't looking at what I did right or what I did wrong. He was looking at what his son did, the blood. So if we could grasp that early as new Christians, it has nothing to do with what we do or don't do. It has everything to do with Jesus and what he supplied, the blood. No more, no less, the blood of Jesus did it all. And we have a covenant and we have promises that are available to us because of God's love, because of his love. Because of his love, we have salvation forever. We have it forever. Doesn't mean that, okay, Lord, you say I have salvation. When's that going to run out? It doesn't. Yes. 
we have to work that salvation out daily for ourselves, for, you know, in him. It's in him that we live and we move and we have our being because of his love. His word says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. That's the first scripture I got as a Christian. I looked at it and I said, I wonder what that means. And I asked that question for quite a long while. And I'm just starting to understand what it does mean. I'm a spiritual being. So therefore, I need to seek his kingdom, bring it to earth. Live in it. Be a witness to others. Let my light shine before men so they can see the goodness of God in the land of the living. Now that's easy to say. It's a little more challenging to do, but when we know that he already won the victory, so we walk victoriously. And when we know that we cannot lose, we may lose a little battle here and there, but all we need to do is take that one step and get back in line, and we'll be fine. And then we can come and dine with the Father. <laughs> And he gave us that robe of righteousness. And it wasn't until a couple of months ago that I finally got that. Pastor, would get, Pastor Gary would get up there and he'd say, doesn't matter. Even when I'm wrong, I'm right. And that got in my mind. <laughs> and that rolled around and rolled around and rolled around. And I said, Lord, what does that mean? And so he, he, he says it. And I'd go, okay, Lord, and then he said it just, I don't know, a couple, the last time, a couple times ago that he preached, and I got it. I got it. Doesn't matter what I do or don't do. I'm righteous. I had the robe of righteousness on because it all has to do with Jesus and what he already did for us. So I got it. And then another thing that I got lately, and this one used to, hmm, what's the word I would use? Irritate me. It would. It would irritate me. Pastor Nancy would say it a lot. Love you, Pastor Nancy. She'd say, laugh. <laughs> and I'd hear her say that, and I'm saying, what does she mean by that, Lord? Laugh? I really don't feel like laughing right now. Give me a baseball bat so I can go hit something <laughs> so I can feel better. <laughs> but I'd only feel better. <laughs> That's just it. But I got it. Laugh at him. He don't like that at all. <laughs> he doesn't like that at all. And I'm getting it. And I'm starting to use it. <laughs> he hasn't got a chance. He's a defeated foe. <laughs> So why are we wrestling with a defeated foe? Yeah. You know. Exactly. <laughs> Praise the Lord. When I'm weak, he's strong. His love is strong. His love is strength. So there's times during the day I'm saying, Lord, I don't know. I'm going to take your strength and keep on going. And there's a security, there's a safety, there's a, we're so secure in him. Mm. There's just a, when you know whose you are, and in knowing whose you are, you learn who you are. And when you learn who you are, you take hold of his love and his promises. 
and you start to discover what's available to you. And you kind of walk right through the challenges. And you grow. And you know you have a purpose. And you know you have value. And I was in the Word at home, and all of a sudden it hit me. Lord, I have value. And I've got something valuable to give to someone else. It was an eye-opener. We all have a purpose. We all have a purpose, and we need to know that we have a purpose. And the only way we're going to know that we have a purpose is if we know who we are in Him. Because it's in Him. We're complete in Him. But we need to know who we are to know that we're complete in Him. I remember one night, um, realized that I'm seated in heavenly places, the right hand side of the Father in Christ Jesus. The Lord gave me a vision of me sitting there, and I had this huge sword, and I put it out, and he was letting me know that there's not a situation in your life, present or to come, that the Word of God cannot take care of. It's the Word of God we use to fight. That's all we need to use. So again, we need to we need to yeah, we need to uh, we need to use that word, the Word of God. It's powerful. It goes out, it'll never return void. It'll go out and do exactly what God, at that moment, in that time, wants it to do in your life. To bring us into the place and the plan that he has for our lives. That's pretty cool. Really cool. I had a lot of scripture here. Sorry, I hadn't been reading the scriptures. I've got them all here. Righteousness will never be abolished. We're always in right standing with him. <laughs> Whether we're right or wrong, we're always in right standing with him. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And when the covenant took place, it is an exchange. And we got a great deal, and that's simple words for it. We serve God. Because of his love, we have the opportunity and the privilege of serving God. The world is caught up in performance, and they never... They're always reaching for something higher and higher and higher, and they never get it. Or when they do get there, they're still hungry for something else, higher and higher and higher. So they're not going to get there. They're never going to find it. They'll find it in God. That's it. In Him only. Okay, let's go to the next page. Because of his love, he's provided a refuge for us in him. Strength for every situation. And he constantly, constantly relates to us in mercy. Mercy, mercy, mercy. When Jesus took his blood and put it on the mercy seat in heaven, it was complete. And I can run right in, or I can slide in, because my Father loves me. And I can just run right in there, and I can talk to him, 
and I can tell him exactly what's going on. He's good at correction, but he always corrects you in love. Always, always in love. I don't like correction. Well, I like his correction. I'm learning. I'm doing a lot better with it because I realize that he does it for my benefit. He does it because he loves me. I should say I didn't like correction. I'm not there anymore. It's amazing how as we grow up and we go out on our own, with me it was it was like, you do this, you do that, you go there, you do this, you do that. No, you can't do this. You have to be home. You have to be there. You have to be there. You have to do this, do that. Well, in my little mind at that time, I was saying, I can't wait to get out of here. So I could do something on my own. Well, I kind of went extreme with that when, when I did get the opportunity. And it's been a long haul coming back <laughs> I'm doing a lot better, <laughs> and I'm faith, and I'm very, very thankful for the mercy of God, <sighs> and His grace is definitely sufficient for every situation we find ourselves in. It's sufficient. It's enough for every situation. <laughs> He delights in us. Because of his love, we're able to delight in him. He also delights in us, and he sings over us. And his banner over us is love. Love, 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 love. Praise the Lord. We're his beloved, and that's never going to change. We're his beloved. Because of his love, we're called his beloved. Because of this love, we can live freely in Christ. How far we go is up to us. It's a choice. We have to make it daily. Sometimes we have to make it. In a second. We just kind of say, Okay, Lord. No delays. I'm learning. They're not good. No delays. Be quick to obey. Because there's a blessing there. I'm learning. Because he loves us. If you don't get anything out of this tonight, it's all because... He loves us. He loves us with an everlasting love. And that's the big thing that we have to know in our hearts because of the challenges that come forth. And it's, and it's, a, it's a joy. A joy, miraculous joy, because of his love. All because God loves you, and he loves me. Remember that you have a choice. Choose God.
because nothing else will fail you. <coughs> because of his love. We are. Because of his love, we can be. Just be. Because of his love, we do not have to compare ourselves with others. We can just be who we are and allow ourselves to enjoy who we are. Just be. That was a big one. Because you, when you're looking for love, you kind of look to, well, I did. I looked to others to, I was looking for that. So I was looking to others. But they were just as flawed as I was. And so after a while, it brought more confusion because I was looking to them. And if they do something, well, I was a follower. I'd follow. Didn't get me anywhere, though. And even when I came into Christ, a long while before I was able to start just being. And it's a continuing work because this whole walk with God is a process. And so if I get up during the day, I, I like to look and say, what changed today, or what did you do, or, you know, I can basically say that in most days, most week, there's changes in me, because I look for them. I want them. I may be a little uh, willful sometimes, but God has a way of dealing with me in love, because he loves me. So he will deal with this because he knows the heart. He knows deep, deep down in my heart what I want to be for him and what I would like to accomplish for him. And, and so, therefore, he, he knows where to go. He knows where to go in and out, you know, the heart. To, well, okay, I'll just massage a little over here today because I know we're working on that area. Well, maybe I'll go over here and massage the hat over here a little bit today. He knows what he's doing. The Holy Spirit knows what he's doing. And when he does it, it's done. It's done. We don't have to run away or feel stuck because it brings that freedom. So it's great to see it as an adventure, and adventures in God daily with him, where we're discovering new life, where we're taking that life and displaying it to others to the point where they just want it so bad. They just want it. And they'll ask, and then they'll come. And the challenge is we can conquer them because we're more than conquer in Christ Jesus who loved us. We're conquerors. We're warriors of the Most High God. So we can, those challenges don't overtake us, we overtake them. And then the growth, you know, we live in the kingdom, it expands here on earth for his glory and honor and praise. That's what it does. So I'm looking forward to a lot more adventures in God because he loves me. Thank you. We hope this message has encouraged you in your relationship with the Lord. For more information and ministry resources, we invite you to visit our website at www.newcovenantchurch.ca. We look forward to you joining us next time as we continue to live victoriously.